Man, that's a cool gun. Be cool to have one of those. You know, in real life. So anyway, here's just some video of the completed piece. Pulse gun from New Vegas. Pulled the model from uh, the game and used Blender to chop it up into pieces so I could print it out on my 3D printer. Uh, the finish is pretty bad on some spots for the paint job. I don't have an airbrush yet. That's one thing I'm going to get probably sometime soon. Um, ignore my feet. But yeah, I think the weathering is pretty good on it. Use some uh, magnets to let it pop the battery into place. It's kind of cool. Uh, real hardware for a lot of the screws. Um, there's a, I think, Tesla coil in the back. And I just wound some copper around a piece of cardboard and slapped it inside the little opening in the back. Covered it with a vent. trigger works. It's really simple. It's just a piece of steel spring inside of a little opening in the back there. Here are just some shots of the 3D print being made as they're being completed. I think uh, 3D printers have really come a long way in the last well, almost a decade since they've been around now, something like that, so looks pretty good. I think the finish on just the 3D print alone was pretty passable. It's as simple primer, steps, paint, assembly. Anyway, here's a lot of the materials I use to uh, get some of this stuff done. Like I said, I don't have an airbrush, so simple paint. 80 grit sandpaper block, really useful. And of course, all the other finishing grits, 220, 440, 500, sorry. And uh, yeah, 120 there. Like I said, I used real hardware for a lot of the bits, so if I needed to, I could just cut down the ends to the right length. Paint was a bitch. If I had a second chance at this, I'd probably use uh, water-based model paints instead of what I ended up using here. I do have some model paint pens that I really like using. And they give it a lacquer finish. This is the paint I ended up using for the majority of the piece, and I do not like it. Um, it doesn't say anywhere on the back here at all. And I thought, oh, okay. Water-based. It should be fine. It turns out it's a latex paint. The the finish is terrible, and it has a habit of bubbling and buckling. I have all these uh, Tamiya pigments that are really good for weathering. Uh, I really do like the rust and orange burnt red. It's almost like a makeup palette. You just Get the brush loaded up and pat it on whatever material you're trying to get the effect for. I use flat black for a lot of the primer. I think the black looks better than a simple gray or a white underneath for the metallics. My experience with this Plasti Dip was pretty lackluster. It uh, ended up peeling a lot. And uh, 
didn't take to a lot of the paint I was ending up using. I did use this craft glue, which is uh, perfect. And of course, JB Weld super glue, just cyanoacrylate. Probably the only thing I'll ever end up using on 3D print plastic to plastic welding. I ended up trying to use some other urethane glues and things like that. And uh, they didn't work at all. They came apart, they peeled, they buckled real quick. This stuff is pretty finicky. Um, it's not what I would recommend using. It's water-based, so it cleans up all right, but... It's a pain to get into cracks properly, and then when it does dry and you end up trying to sand or finish the surface, it, uh, it breaks away pretty quick. So instead, I would suggest using this stuff here, a little bit more uh, beefy, I think. Well, it's definitely more toxic, for sure. But uh, yeah, Bondo. Bondo's perfect. And I ended up just getting this instead of dealing with that other stuff. I think the other stuff has its use, but probably not what I need to end up using in the foreseeable future. Before I forget, I almost, uh, one of the most important pieces is this file. Having a good file to be able to just wear down the plastic real quick uh, was super helpful. Of course, your uh, X-Acto blades. And then I also have these uh, model files, really small round file flats, um, triangle file on there, square file. <laughs> 